Hi, my name is Russ Adams, and we are going to show you how to uh, sculpt some wrinkles. You're going to need several tools, a hobby knife, a spatula tool, a paint brush, a wire loop tool, a one inch modified brush, and a custom wrinkle uh, tool. Um, you can see that we've already begun the sculpting process, and um, that was pretty much to save time on the video. Um, we're using a pocket knife to carve uh, these little recesses and uh, these will uh, be the brow wrinkles. Um, the lighting in the studio right now is pretty poor. Um, it's actually pretty harsh and uh, so it, it looks a little rougher than it actually is. But On the back here we'll show you what we've done. We take the knife and we make an incision and then what we'll do is we take the blade and set it inside the incision and flick it. So you're going to want to flick it up and down to get the desired uh, width. Um, it's just a pretty natural movement. Um, it doesn't, there's not a lot of real pressure involved, but you can see the difference between this and the original incision. So from here, we're going to turn the sculpture and we're going to take our one inch modified brush and we're going to essentially, this, this brush is essentially, uh, it's just a regular uh, one inch brush. We cut off the bristles to make it, you know, really stiff, um, pretty close to the, um, to the base. You don't want to get too close because if you get too close, you know, you'll end up raking that metal piece across your sculpture. Right here we've dipped the brush in uh, some denatured alcohol and we're forcing the brush pretty harshly into these uh, recesses and smoothing it around. Um, the clay is pretty cold, it's about 65 degrees so it's uh, good and stiff and we can manipulate it as we see fit to have too much uh, issue. This is our wrinkle tool, essentially it's just a dowel rod with some uh, fine wire at the end and we're going to go ahead and rake the sculpture around these particular areas. Um, you want to try to keep the um, uh, the wrinkles in a particular pattern. You don't necessarily want to go vertical um, because it would look a little odd. You'd have this weird grid pattern. Um, you want to try to stay with the grain and um, the best thing to do is just keep some uh, visual references. And the same goes for eyes. When you're working on the eyes and you're doing crow's feet, you're doing the same thing essentially. You're just going to take that tool and you're going to kind of rake it across. I'm actually using quite a bit of pressure here, but because the clay is cool, you know, we're able to just scratch the surface. Now keep in mind what we're showing you here is just some basics. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to use these particular tools to, um, to refine the sculpture and um, things like Brillo pads and um, even impressions of skin textures can be used if you have some uh, silicone that you can uh, take a, a cast of those and then just use them and kind of roll them onto the clay. They don't really give a perfect pattern. They're like blotchy and it looks poor. So it's a bit, it's just a good idea to go ahead and learn how to do the, uh, the wrinkles yourself. Um, ignore the eyes here. What I'm illustrating is that these eyes are actually going to be removed for this particular sculpture. So there's no um, no need to get any kind of detail in there. They're not actually a part of the sculpture, they're just there as a place setting.